Hey guys, Ron Harris with NASA Mastermind and just coming to you to talk about the brain dump. Some of you have gone before and some of you haven't and just wanted to share with you what you guys need to be preparing for. It's a little uh, under a week now we'll be leaving. So just a reminder, what is a brain dump? Well, in general sense, a brain dump is just throwing up everything that you have on your mind on a piece of paper or in some type of format, getting it all out so that you don't, you don't think about the priority, you don't think about the... Um, order or the significance, you just get everything out on paper and you can go back later and organize it, prioritize it, and etc. So that's a typical brain dump in any kind of writing format or I'm making a list or something, but for the brain dump retreat, we're taking a little bit of neuroscience and the power of the question of asking your brain questions and telling your brain to delay the answer until you do this brain dump on the specific date. So again, for the brain dump retreat, we're using neuroscience. We're asking our brain, hey, I need to know the answer to this business problem. I need to know the answer to this business partner. I need to know the answer to this spiritual thing or this financial or this physical or something that's happening in your business, both small, medium, and big. And your goal is to ask those questions, ask your brain multiple times, but do not give you the answer until the specific time of the brain dump. So, example. Hey brain, I need to know how do I get my next property? Or hey brain, what do I need to do to get another 40 properties this year? But do not give me the answer until Tuesday when I do the brain dump. And you'll ask this questions multiple times while you're in the shower, while you're in front of the mirror, while you're at your desk, uh, throughout your evening, throughout your day, whenever you have something come up, uh, when you're kind of a little dead time or whatever, or when it just pops up your head, hey brain, I need the answer to how do I get another 40 properties by the end of this year, but then I give you the answer until I do the brain dump. So again, ask the questions, but to delay the answer. And so that your brain will work on the question. So where you're kind of unique as creatures of this earth, our brain starts, um, we're designed to ask questions and our brain will answer them. So if we ask a question, our brain starts working on it, even while you're asleep. There's been famous uh, discoverers and, and scientists that have worked on problems and asked questions, and all of a sudden they wake up, they go to bed and wake up and have the answer, and they're ready right out. They go back to sleep, because their brain's working constantly, 24 seven, it's always doing something, even while you consciously are, are, are asleep. So, when you're in the shower, ask the question. When you get off the phone, ask the question. Write them down. Have them written down on a piece of paper so that you remember what the questions that you're working on. Try to look at them multiple times throughout the day. Ask the questions, but do not give me the answer until X, Y, Z. Okay? So I'm going to repeat this over and over again so you remember. But So why is that powerful? Well, our brain, again, works on the answers when we ask a question. The science and studies supports that um, if you'll change a statement to, an af to a question, there's some music going on back there in the background, <laughs> if you'll change this from a statement to a question, the science and studies support that you'll get, uh, your, um, you'll have a higher percentage of access to the brain and the knowledge and the answer you're looking for. And so the probability of getting what you need and actually doing what it is that you're asking uh, has a high probability. For example, instead of saying, I will work out three times a week, and you change it to a question, will I work out three times a week? brain starts working on the answer, the question, and you have a high probability of doing that. So with that part of that power of the brain, we're integrating it with the brain dump retreat where we'll have multiple events, multiple things to kind of about goal planning and lifestyle planning, um, mental pro uh, projections and different kinds of things on, on worksheets and papers and those kinds of things we'll do together. But the most powerful part of the brain dump is asking these questions telling your brain to wait for the answer. And then when that day comes, your brain will brain dump so much information on that piece of paper or multiple pieces of paper, and you will be shocked what ends up on that paper. And you just may be shocked what doesn't end up on that paper. That may also be an indication of what's going on. And so we have plenty of examples and stories of where it's helped us make decisions and give us the answer. So again, ask your brain the question, ask a good positive question, to delay the answer until the brain dump, and then be surprised. So, guys, if you have any questions, 
comments, reach out to me. You got you got my phone number, you got my cell phone number, or Facebook, or however you want to get a hold of me, and we can I can carry on this conversation with you and some more techniques. Read the document I sent you guys. It has a little bit more about the process and some more specifics. But looking forward to see you guys at the brain dump this year and sitting on the beach and having fun, getting to know each other, slowing down, relaxing. Letting our business go without us for a little while, take a break from all the technology and, and business, and get the answers you're looking for, and then we can return back and knock, kill it this year, guys. Kill it. And so the, and the next year, we'll kill it again. So, any questions? Reach out to me. We'll see you at the Brain Dump.